Hi, welcome back to my channel Pi by Me Maths. This is Baiju Vasudevan. Question number 2. The functions f and g are defined by f of x is 5 minus x divided by 3x plus 2. g of x is 2x minus 7. Part A. Find the value of fg of 5. This question got 2 marks. Here in part A we have this composite function fg of 5. So first you need to find g of 5. g of 5 is going to be 2 times 5 minus 7. 10 minus 7 is 3. So this is going to be f of g of 5, which is 3. Now in this function, replace x by 3. 5 minus 3 divided by 3 times 3 plus 2, which is 11, 2 over 11. That's the answer. Part B, find f inverse. This question got 3 marks. So take this function, f of x, bring the denominator here, f of x times 3x plus 2. 5 minus. To find the inverse function, we need to make x as a subject. So I'm going to multiply through it by f of x. 3x f of x plus 2 f of x equals 5 minus x. We are trying to make x as a subject. So you need to collect all the terms involving x to one side. The rest of the terms push it to the other side. So 3x f of x bring this minus x here becomes plus x is 5 minus 2 f of x this 2 f of x comes here becomes minus take x as a common factor 3 f of x plus 1 equals 5 minus 2 f of x so x is going to be 5 minus 2 f of x divided by divide by this 3f of x plus 1. So once you made x as a subject, it's easy to find inverse. Replace x by f inverse. Replace f of x by just x. 5 minus 2x divided by 3x plus 1. Now listen to me very carefully. Unlike O-level math in IGCC Cambridge math or not, when they ask you to find f inverse, you can stop here, you'll get the full mark. But in ASA level, when they ask you to find f inverse, you have to find the domain of f inverse. Otherwise, you're going to lose one mark. It's not going to separately mention. They're not going to mention there that find f inverse together with its domain. They will just say find f inverse. In certain questions, it's going to be a separate question, finding the domain of f inverse. But if it's not mentioned, you have to find the domain. Otherwise, you're going to lose one mark. So how do we find the domain? The domain of f inverse is same as the range of this function. So you see for this reciprocal function, it's not very easy to find the range. So if you look at the domain of f, f of x, the x takes all the real numbers, but not this number. Because if you put this number, the division becomes zero, which is not permitted, right? So x takes all the real numbers. If x takes all the real numbers, it's very easy to find the domain. Just put x takes all the real numbers here also but x cannot be minus 1 over 3 because f is minus 1 over 3 it becomes 0 division the denominator cannot be 0 so how do you find this number take 3x plus 1 equals 0 so x is minus 1 over 3 so write does x not equal so if x takes all the real numbers it's very easy to find domain of f inverse you don't need to worry about finding the range of f of x from here straight away you write the domain. Part C, solve the equation f of 1 over a equals g of a plus 3. This question got 4 marks. We need to solve this equation. Take the function f of x, replace x by 1 over a here. So 5 minus 1 over a divided by 3 times 1 over a plus 2 equals. Take the function g of x and replace x by a plus 3 here. 2 times a plus 3 minus 7. We need to solve this equation now. Combine it, change it to a, a common denominator, a single fraction with a common denominator. So it's going to be 5a minus 1 divided by a. Do the same thing here, 2a plus 3 divided by a. This a can be cancelled. 
here 2a plus 6 minus 7 once you open the bracket. So we got 5a minus 1 divided by 2a plus 3 is 2a minus 1. Bring this 2a plus 3 here and multiply. You get 5a minus 1 is 2a plus 3 times 2a minus 1. Open the bracket, you will get 4a square plus 6a minus 2a minus 3. Put everything one side, you get 4a square, 6 minus 2 is 4, minus 5 is minus 1, minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2 equals 0. Solve this, you get 2a values. The first value is 1 plus root of 33 divided by 8. The second value is 1 minus square root of 33 by 8. You see here, once you got the values, you cannot happily move on to the next question. You always take these values, check against the domain of these two functions. That's a very important step. The values should satisfy these conditions actually. Okay, now you see, here it's a positive number. X takes all the real numbers. You need to check against both domains. So A can be positive, A can be negative also. Let's say this is a negative number. X can be any real number as long as it's not minus 2 over 3. So both are the right solution.